Hi, I'm Derek Story, head honcho here at the Digital Story, and I have a fun project to show you today. It has to do with the new iPhone, the 3GS, that has a terrific camera on the back. They improved it. It's 3 megapixels, it shoots close up better, uh, better exposure, has video, the whole deal. Now, here's the thing about this camera. You could use it for lots of close-up work. For instance, if I wanted to shoot this ruler here, the hard part is, is getting the plane of the camera parallel with the plane of the object that you're shooting. The minute you get a little angle either way, you get distortion, it doesn't look great. So, what you need is a way to steady the camera and to keep the planes of the camera and the subject parallel to one another, and that's what I'm going to show you to do. Now, I hope you kept the box that your iPhone 3GS came in. Very important. Apple puts a lot of good stuff in this box. Not to mention, if you ever want to sell it, it's great to have the box. But one of the things that they put in here, I'm going to take apart the box, is this little tray right here. This is the tray that holds the iPhone when you get it. And it's shaped perfectly for the iPhone itself. All I did was add a little hole right here for the camera lens, and you can use a template if you wish. I used about a 3 8 drill, put a little hole where the lens goes, set the iPhone in there, and see how it fits just perfectly? Absolutely perfectly. It is made for this device, and the hole is good for the camera lens. I have this all set up. Now this has a little lip here, which is terrific. Now, it was originally used to set in the box, but you can use this lip to do other things, such as make your copy stand. Let me just move a few things here. I just went down to the Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, got one of these boxes, cost about a buck, cut a hole in it that is the same size as this tray, so that the iPhone sits right in there, nice and flat and parallel to what I'm shooting translucent around the side so you can have light sources come in from any direction that you want and it lights up your scene. You can lift up the box and you have a little tray here. Now what I've done, I've used gaffer's tape just to make guides so I could copy 4x6 photos and I know exactly where they need to go. But you can put other items in here too. For example, if I want to shoot a close-up item, like when I shot this coin, right here. I just raised up things with this little tray right here, put my item on here, set the iPhone right on top, go to camera. Now we have the little autofocusing mechanism right here and you can see that everything, it looks just like a real copy stand. And once I put my object on the, on the stand here, I just hit tap focus to uh, make the, the camera focus on the item itself, set the exposure, and then take the picture. Now let's, let's see how that works. Let's do a little test right here. We'll take a different object. Let's say, you know, another little stand that works out really well, it's not quite as tall, is my Airport Express box. I'll just put that in here. Maybe put a little piece of black down. Grab an object such as this USB cord right here. Put it initially more or less in the center of the frame. And I go, oh, pretty good, not too bad. I just got to make a slight adjustment here. There's this, just put that right about there. Set my copy stand back down. Not bad at all. Now all I have to do is just tap on the area where I want the iPhone to focus. And usually what you want to do is tap on the highest point if you have an object that has height. Highest point, that way the highest point, the point closest to the camera lens will be sharp. And if there's a little fall off on depth of field, not that big a problem. Hold down the shutter button. Don't jab at it. Just hold it down. And then when you're ready to take the shot, just lift it up. iPhone takes the shot. Pull it right out. We'll go here, tap on it right there, there's my shot right there. And you can use this for all sorts of stuff. For instance, I like to use it for business cards. Business cards are great. 
why you know carry around all that little information you can actually carry around the whole business card with this copy stand you can shoot just about anything you want that will fit inside of here and in order to get the right magnification just raise up or lower the items uh, it's about from the height of the of the bottom there it's about six inches a little less than six inches so that'll give you a starting point and then raise uh, up from there so anyway this is my DIY copy stand for the iPhone use the tray that comes with it set it right in there set your phone there and you're ready to go it's really easy it takes about half an hour